Hi everyone, it's Twitch65, and today we're going to take a quick look at how I weather maintenance buildings on my model railroad. I purchased this little N-scale Armaco steel yard workshop kit off of eBay on a whim. I didn't realize it would come fully assembled. Luckily, it wasn't pre-painted as well. In between projects, while I had the airbrush out, I primed the kit gloss black, followed by some light US earth on the walls and neutral gray on the doors. Finally, after a little bit of masking, I put a pale burnt aluminum color on the roof and the downpipes. And the results, a brand shiny new building, which everyone knows doesn't last very long on a railroad or any industry really. So out came the weathering powders and brushes. Since this was a quick and dirty job on a Sunday morning, I didn't take any photos of the process just where I started and where I ended up. What I thought I would do is quickly go through how I weather small buildings by cobbling together a little aluminum shack. The four walls were left over from another larger end scale kit and the roof came from two bits of the, of the same sprue. Here's the building in gray <clears throat> silver plastic and in which I primed glossy black. Best undercoat for metallic colors is a glossy black. And finally, a top coat of pale burnt aluminum. With all the base coating completed, it's time to start making this shiny new building look like it's been around for a while. I like to start with some application of thin enamel or oil paints. My go-to is Tamiya's panel liner in both black and brown. The key is to let it dry a bit, 10 to 15 minutes, then wipe the excess from everywhere but the deepest of recesses. Q-tips or cotton swabs work very well for this task. You just need to be on the lookout for stray cotton fibers. For any areas that dried quicker or sat for a bit longer, a little odorless thinner works like an eraser. Be mindful that a little goes a long way. And if you inadvertently remove too much, just let it dry and reapply. Now for the fun stuff, pastels. They are like sidewalk chalk for adults. You can pick these up in various colors in most any art store, but make sure they've got browns, oranges, grays, and reds. Use the back of a hobby knife to scrape off some powder. I also try to use mixtures of these colors to add further depth to the weathering. This is my powder palette and the tools I need. An old brush that's been abused, but dry, and a fan brush, again, keep it dry. I like to start with the red-brown mix and just add a little bit of rust or oxidation. Unless you're going for a full-on rusted or burned out look, go very light with the rust. Keep it to the edges, keep it to the places where water would likely pool. What I do is dab a bit of powder with the old worn out brush, then blend it with the fan brush. This not only blends the colors together, but also will tone down the effect to look a little more scale appropriate. Chimneys make a great place to add soot stains. Just make sure you blend the stains in the direction that the rain would wash it away. For this demo, I just chose to add browns and dark grays to simulate dirt and soot from being around railroads. You can pick colors that are more appropriate to the scene you're trying to set with your scale model. So I hope this short demo was useful and that you might be able to try some of these techniques on your own models to make them look a little less toy-like. If you enjoyed the weathering demo, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel.